Hi guys in this quick tutorial I want to show you how to make a simple wall with a window using geometry nodes. It is set up, so that the values relate to one another. First add a cube and a geometry node modifier. In the geometry node editor, add a transform node. To be able to adjust the location and scale values individually, add a combine XYZ node, duplicate it and connect to the transform and scale sockets. To expose the values in the modifier, drag the sockets onto the empty slot in the group input node. To avoid confusing myself, I always try to give them meaningful names. I then test if the setup is working. I repeat the process for the scale values. As you can see the scaling is from the pivot point of the cube, which is not what I want for the z-axis. To account for that, I add a math node set to add and connect the height value to the bottom socket and set the top value to zero. Then I connect the output to the z-socket that connects to the translation. I got this from the Blender Sushi guy. I leave a link to his channel in the description. To make the cutout for the window, I duplicate the transform node and add a boolean set to difference. Because I want to control the size of the window separately, I duplicate the combine XYZ node. The X scale, which is the thickness of the wall needs to be the same or larger for the boolean to work, so I just connect the value. I drag the Y scale onto the group input, because I want that value to be exposed. For the Z value I want it dependent on Y with a fixed value, so I add a math node set to multiply. Now I name the value. As you can see the proportion isn't right. So I adjust it. Then I try if every parameter works this far. To add a window frame, I duplicate the transform node and add a join geometry node. Because I want the window always to be centered, I should have connected the transform input to the output of the combine XYZ node used for the boolean cutout. I made a mistake here, but I will fix it later in the video. Because I want the window frame to be wider than the cutout I add a separate and a combine XYZ node. I use math nodes, set to multiply to adjust the offsets. I connect to the output of the previous combine XYZ node. And here I realized the mistake and connected the proper output. So this is working. To cut out the interior I can duplicate the last transform node with Ctrl Shift D to keep the input connections. This saves some work. Next I duplicate the boolean node. To scale it down I can duplicate the whole setup from the window frame and adjust the values. X should stay the same for the boolean to work. Finally I test all the values to see if I made any mistakes. I hope you liked this video and were able to follow. I found it quite difficult to explain the process. 
so let me know what you think and please consider liking and subscribing. Bye.